Hi everybody, my name is James from Battlegrounds. This will be my first video um, probably ever for repairing a computer. Um, I don't normally make videos and maybe I'll start with this one, but I worked on a Mac for almost four days at different, you know, um, trial and errors, hard drive replacements, memory replacements, one stick, two sticks. The biggest problem that I had with this Mac and the, the main reason why it even came in um, was because there was a password on it. Very simple thing, you know, for, especially for a customer who um, doesn't really care about the data, wants to do a Mac OS, bada bing, bada boom. The problem that I'm having now, or that I did have, was that um, the only software that I had in hand is Snow Leopard, which is fine because you can do the updates, get the App Store, and then upgrade to another operating system. That was not the case with this one. Uh, between the Snow Leopard not wanting to install, getting stuck at 11%, failing, um, different error messages, it was unable to install, finally got it to install out of just some sheer luck, and then from that point on, every time you turn the computer on, it would take a long time for it to load, and then at the same time, it would um, download the newer operating systems, but then fail to install them right after it got done with the, like, about 60 seconds, and then it wants to restart, says it's going to restart, and then fails to restart. That happened with uh, three different operating systems that I tried to install from the newest ones to just to Lion. Uh, ultimately, in the long run, after digging and digging and digging, um, I finally found the solution. It was called resetting your PRAM on your computer, and it was a three, a four button combination that you had to do um, immediately after you turn the computer on. So once you turn the Mac on and you heard the little ding sound, you're actually gonna have to hold down a three button combination on this. Now, um, the three buttons that you're actually gonna be holding down, I apologize because I have to look at a keyboard to be able to see it on a Mac. Um, the four button combination that you're gonna be holding down is gonna be the command button, the option button and then the letter P and the letter R together. You do all four of them together. Um, you'll hold them down and once you actually hear the ding that the Apple sound makes when you first turn it on, when it does it a second time, you let go and the computer just boots. It must clear some type of cache and when it does that, it fixed everything. The speed, the amount of time it takes for the computer to start up, um, the, you know, just the operating of the computer and then the main thing was uh, being able to upgrade the operating system. Instantly took uh, El Capitan with no problems. So if you have any problem with a Mac, it is a good idea just to do that because it does not wipe anything out on the computer. Um, it just must clear like some type of cache. But I spent four days on that thinking that the hard drive was bad, wires were bad, the SATA cable was bad, took the computer out, checked it for overheating, replaced thermal paste, everything. And it all came down to that one little thing and it was mind boggling and it was a relief now that it's fixed. But that's just for you guys. I hope that that maybe may solve some of your problems and if it does, Give me a thumbs up. However this whole system works, I'm going to upload this on YouTube and maybe start a channel. Who knows? But hopefully that brings some relief to somebody. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.